change. I don't know any of that information, but it, it could be. Sometimes it has been up to an hour, hour and a half that they sit there. Uh, well, three hours seemed really excessive to me. And Toby, how many times did you ask him to use the restroom? And did you pass a restroom that would have been accessible to you uh, to use for the purposes I'm describing? We were parked in front of the station for about a for about a thirty minutes. Parked in front of the station, I kept asking to use the bathroom. Okay, which yeah. station though? Because if he was parked in front of the the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Office, where the blood the the uh, breath test might have been done, then we don't have access to a restroom in there. There's no restroom there. Okay. Um, okay. Well, after he got done there, he just pulled around the corner and then let me into a jail. Like, okay, so that, it did happen there. We don't have access to a restroom there. Okay. Well, we have access to, because that building's closed at night. It sounds like he's from the DUI squad. Mm -hmm. We don't have access to that building at night. Just have access to the, uh, the intoxilizer room. And right from there, they go right into the jail, which is just right around the corner. Okay. Okay, well, he wants to pursue a complaint, and I'm going to assist him. And I, I did get some brief information from Sergeant Dunn, but perhaps you could tell it directly to the victim, and then he can pursue uh, his complaint according to your instructions. Okay, so what do you want to know? Um, he's got a complaint of excessive force, unprofessional okay. conduct, um, and perhaps other allegations, but for now that's the two major allegations. And if you could tell me what the procedure is that he should follow to report that and when he will be contacted Who's by... the trooper? Thompson. Trooper Thompson. Okay, you would probably call back and talk to Sergeant Dunnigan because that's his sergeant. And he can, he can call him up and actually come in and fill out a, a formal complaint mm -hmm. and give it to Sergeant Dunn, and then he'll send it to up the chain of command. Okay, so we fill out the complaint form, and then they'll contact him. Well, they'll do an investigation and probably contact him afterwards, yes. Okay, but all right. And all that investigation is done through what he puts in his report okay. and signs off on it. Okay, and, and last question, um, are your policies uh, available to the public? Yes, they are. Okay, and where would I find them? Where, where would I find them? I, I believe they're either online through uh, the Highway Patrol website or over at uh, our headquarters. They can, ask, they can request for a copy of our policies. Okay, and, and last point I'll make, and, and I don't mean to be, you know, coy about it, but you, you were surprised that about which aspect of my involvement, that I'm helping someone or that I hadn't seen an incident like this before? That you hadn't seen an incident like this before if you were, in, if you were a detective. How long were you a detective? Well, I was a cop for 10 years, and I was a detective for three, and I was a sergeant for three, and, um, you know, I've pretty much seen everything, so... Uh, you know, okay. I, I, I just hadn't seen a situation. I know I've seen situations of prisoners who needed to go to the restroom. I just hadn't seen someone being denied that access for, for hours at a time when there are places that they could be taken to to relieve themselves. Yeah, and, and without uh, actually watching the videotape and listening to, the, to what was going on, I couldn't tell you if it was hours on end or not. Okay, and where would I get, where would I get access to the videotape through your records division? You'd have to do a grandma request. Mm hmm Okay. Or through through uh, the section 16, which is uh, the section that mm -hmm. Trooper Thompson is a part of. Okay, got it. All right, thank you, Sergeant. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You bet. All right, have a good day. Hey, uh, Toby? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to fax over, actually email your complaint to uh, Sergeant, Dun Sergeant Dunn, and then we okay. will wait to hear back from them. As soon as I hear back, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, I don't know if it matters, but the I did, like I did say earlier in the, when I first talked to you, I held my, when my wrists were completely swollen up and bleeding, mm -hmm. I held them up to the uh, one of the cameras in that, when I was being booked, mm -hmm. Since I wouldn't take a picture of it, I held it up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I don't. I, I well, mean, well, no, there, there's going to be video. I'm going to ask for the video. Don't you worry. Okay. There's going to be video from inside the jail. Usually, departments that try to get rid of it are doing it for you know obvious reasons, but most departments will keep it for at least 30 days. So I'm going to hit them with a FOIA request in a few days and see what they have, including the dashboard video as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
All right. All right, my friend. I will be in touch and give me a call if they contact you before you hear from me. Okay, that's fine. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right.